today I'm going to have a look at how you can read a JSON file, add some records to it, and then write it. So I do have two tutorials, one just for reading JSON and one for writing JSON, and, and they're two of my more popular ones. But I get a lot of questions about how to put the two together. I'm just going to make a little example of how to do that. Before I go on, I just wanted to mention that I'm actually making a game at the moment. It's I currently have the page up in Steam. You can view it at roguerealms.com. I'd really appreciate if you're interested adding a wish list to it. So let's go on with the tutorial. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add Text Mesh Pro. I'm just going to go to UI. I'm going to add a Text Mesh Pro. I'm going to import TMP Essentials. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my camera. Go to a solid color. I'm just going to choose black as my solid color. And we're going to have white text. And next I'm just going to grab the canvas. Overlay on the camera and pick the main camera. Now I'm going to use the same fields that I used in the previous tutorials, just name, health and manner for each entry. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to create a label for it. So this first one's going to be my label, so it's going to be name. I'm then going to go and make a UI input box. And again, I'm going to make my font size a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to duplicate these and do it again with the health. And this time, because health is an integer, I'm just going to change the content type to integer number. And then that way I won't have to check the data when I'm reading it in to check that it's valid. And again, I'm just going to duplicate these again for mana. And change the text labels. Finally, the last thing we're going to need to do is add a button. I'm just going to change the text to say add entry. So now I have the basic scene that I can use and I can enter in the data and I can add the entry. Next up we're going to need to make the script. So I'm going to make a folder for scripts and I'm going to make a script I'm just going to call it, I'm going to go JSON, load, save. I'm just going to drop this script onto the And one more thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a folder called data. And that's where I'm going to save the JSON file. So let's open the script and do some coding. To do this, we're going to need a couple of extra libraries. We're going to need the system.io for reading files. And we're going to need TMP Pro for Text Mesh Pro. First up, I'm going to create references to all three of those input fields that we made. Next up, I'm going to make the player class that's going to hold all of the data. Obviously, you can just put any fields that you want in here. And next up, I'm just going to make the array of those players. Finally, now that we have these, 
we can make the variables. If you want to go into more details about these, just have a look at my reading JSON tutorial. So the first thing is in the start function, we're going to read the JSON file. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check if the file exists because if the file doesn't exist then you don't want to read it in because you'll get an error. And now the path for this is going to be the application data path plus that data folder. And so if that exists we'll read that into a string. And again, we'll use the, na the same data path. Now that we've read this in, we're going to put it in to the player list. And that's all you need to do to read in your JSON. And it'll only read it in if the file exists. For this demonstration, I'm not going to start with a file. However, if you start with a file, it's still worth checking this, just in case the file, you've got the file name wrong or something like that. The next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to write the function for outputting the JSON, because this is really simple as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the string that we're going to write to the file. And again we're going to use the JSON utility. And we're just going to convert to JSON. And we're going to convert the player list. And then we use file.write all text to write to that. And again you give it the path that you want and then you give it the string. Now your output is done. So we've now got the last thing to do, which is make the add entry. And we're going to delete the update because we don't need that. And we're going to replace it by a public function called add record. So when you're doing this, you need to think of a few things. The first thing we'll need to do is we'll need to collect the data from the input fields. We'll then have to make a temporary array to hold the old data. We then copy the data into the temporary array. We then make the original longer. Copy the old data back across. We add the new data. And then we write the data. So I know there's quite a few steps. It would be ideal if you could use a list and not have to do this, but from what I can tell, this only works with arrays and I haven't worked out how to get it to work with the list. So now I'm going to go through and add the code for all of these things. So here we'll just make a little, we'll make a player. Now we'll add the input fields to that. So here we're going to need to use int.pass to change the string to an integer. So now we just need to make a temporary array for the old data. Copy the data across. Make the original one longer. Now, when you do this, you're going to, have to delete all of the data off this list, which is why you've saved it in a temporary one. 
Now let's copy the data back across. I'm just going to use a for loop for this. Finally, we get to the point where we can add our new data into the last element of the array. Now I'm just using the length of the temporary player list because that will be the new array number that is the last element. Because the number of elements starts at zero, so if you use this, it'll reach the last element. And finally, we're just going to output our JSON. Now this means that every time you add a record that you're going to output, and that's fine. I think in this situation it's good to write to the file at the time you want to. However, if you wanted just to write on quit or something like that, you don't need to call us here. You can just call on application quit or something like that. However, I think it's wise to write as you do it, because then if your application crashes, you've saved everything up to that point. I also want to make my player list have a system system .serializable to make it visible inside the inspector. Let's save this and go to Unity and give it a go. What we're going to need to do is just drag our input fields into the script. Go to our button, add an on click, drag the canvas in, and select the add record function. Now let's give this a go and try and add a record. Now you might need to refresh this folder and you can see that my data is now here. So let's play that and add another piece of data. And before I go I'm just going to show you here. You can see that it's read in my old piece of data and now adding in the entry. You'll see my new entry is added. Now if I open the data file, you can see that it both has first entry and the second entry. So that's how you set up a simple read and write from a JSON file and you can use this to save all sorts of things inside your games. I hope you found this useful and if you did please like subscribe or comment if you want to talk to me here are, or are interested in what i'm doing here are all of my links and i'm i don't have a big discord but i'm quite active there on anybody who wants to talk to me so if you have any issues please come and ask in the discord